Good evening everyone and hello all over the world. Those people that are interested in Chantel and Pedro, we are going to be looking at the next episodes and see what is happening. In this episode then we see Pedro meeting with the lawyers after they had a fight with Chantel over the papers that were in the car and I understand that Chantel had to call the police, but I'm not sure whether the police arrived and what they did to Pedro at that time. But we see Pedro now in this first scene meeting with the lawyer and he is he looks so disoriented and frustrated and I think he's in a process of um, filing the papers. So while Pedro is meeting with the lawyer, we can see Chantel with her friend. I think they are on their way to the airport. She is going for a short holiday just to cool her brain off. I think Pedro is also frustrated by the fact that she is going to um, Panama and there is a likelihood that she might steal the money and save it somewhere in Panama, of which is not the case. Chantel enjoyed the holiday in Panama and we can see her going back to the parents' house. I think she is really not comfortable to be in that house alone. So she just went to the house to meet with the family and decide what to do after that holiday. So her family is very, very supportive. And I think now she is uh, trying to get her sister to live with her in the house because I understand it's not comfortable to be alone in that big house. And I think she's also scared that she doesn't know when Pedro can just show up and then they will have an argument that might also not end well. See Pedro talking to her mother and the sister while they were in the saloon doing their hair. And they were just asking, how is the situation? How is Chantel? And the mother was really saying that, oh, it's good that you decide you, you, you don't have any child with Chantel. So that was the best thing that you've ever did. And the sister of Chantel, uh, of Pedro is also saying that, look, you have to get another woman. I can't wait until you get another woman. You have to get a person with big ass because Chantel doesn't have ass and things like that. We all know that they never like Chantel. I think for them now, it's then it's a big opportunity to just brag about it, to see the next step where Petro can get another woman. I all think that Chantel is evil because she is keeping the money, she is keeping the house. Of course, Chantel worked hard also to get Pedro to US. So it's her time now to protect her feelings and also to protect the assets. He's asking Pedro why he looks so depressed. Is it because of the money or is it because of the house? And of course it's true. He is depressed about the whole situation. And he thinks that he's a stronger person, but you know, any divorce can also cause any depression to anyone, especially when the assets are involved. And the mother is asking Pedro, uh, how did you meet with the lawyers? What is the progress and stuff like that? And of course, Pedro is telling the, the mother and the sister that I met with the lawyer and I filed, uh, I'm filing the papers and Chantel is going to be served with papers. He's telling his mom that the papers will be served that week. And I hope that they are all very, very happy about it because, you know, they've been waiting for this moment for a long, long, long time. So now they have to be happy. And I do think that Chantel is also now mentally or psychologically ready for the whole uh, divorce process. Nicole, the sister of Pedro, is telling Pedro that he has to be happy and get a woman with a big ass 
because Chantel never had a big ass. I know that at this time she is very happy that they are both divorcing because she never liked Chantel anyway. In fact, she wanted to look like Chantel and unfortunately Chantel is much prettier than uh, Nicole. And Nicole says that she can't wait to meet or she is ready to meet the next sister-in-law. She is really, really evil because she is having her own issues with Alejandro. And I do believe that Alejandro is not even divorced. He is still legally married and he is lying to her. She has to take care of her own business and leave Pedro and Chantel alone to deal with their own business. It's so sad to see how happy is Nicole about the whole divorce thing. And she doesn't realize that what goes around comes around. She is having her own problems. Like I said before, she's having her own problems and God forbid, she will get the same thing as well and she, she will feel how Chantel feels right now. She is fooling us and saying that she is ready to meet another girlfriend of Pedro. Yes, of course, there is a possibility of Corina and also there is possibility of Antonella, the co-worker of Pedro. See, both of them, the mother and the daughter, Lydia and Nicole, are so happy. They are even laughing um, at the top of their lungs, happy about the fact that the divorce was get going through and they couldn't wait to meet the new family. You cannot do that to another woman when she is in pain. And that's the reason the mother of Peter never, never got married because she herself was in love with a married man who didn't even marry her. So I don't know why she is so happy about the whole divorce thing. So Chantel and the sister and the mother are there in the bedroom trying to pack things. As we have mentioned earlier on that the sister is going to be living with Chantel for a while because Chantel is not uh, comfortable to live alone in the house. Petro this side is still mourning and grieving that Chantel took all the expensive stuff, inclu including Louis Vuitton. And of course, they, those things belong to Chantel. And I think she even took all the jewelry that he bought her for, for, for Christmases and birthdays. So those are her belongings. She has all the rights to keep them. In this scene, we then see Chantel, mother Karen and the sister Winter leaving the house with boxes. And I think that they are going to be staying or living in uh, Pedro and Chantel's house for a while. And I think at this time she is very vulnerable and she just wants to have somebody to talk to. Guess who shows up in the house one day while the family of Chantel was in the house? It's Pedro. And the reason he was there was to inform Chantel that look, I have filed for the divorce and you are going to be saved. And when he showed up in the house there, he realized that there were cars outside the house and he thought that there was a party and there was no party. It was just the family of Chantel there in the house trying to um, support the, the sister. And he also realized that most of the key locks of the doors were also changed. So he could not just get into the house. He met the brother of Chantel and he told him that, look, I'm here to talk with Chantel. And the brother said that, look, Chantel is in the house. And Petro insisted that, oh, I want to, to get into the house. This is my house. I have a tough life, all the papers and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, the brother didn't give any, you know, any time for Pedro to play around. He said, look, 
you have moved on, you have your own place, leave my sister alone to, you know, to just chill. Prof. Chantel told him that, look, I will go inside and check if Chantel can come out and talk to you. And Pedro was waiting and waiting and waiting and Chantel never showed up. I think Chantel was just, you know, he, he, she didn't like to face uh, Pedro and argue anymore. I think she was just upstairs in her bedroom. And then uh, who showed up was the mother of uh, Chantel, Karen, and greeted Pedro and say, hi, how are you? Why are you here? And blah, blah, blah. And then Pedro told Karen that I'm here to tell Chantel that she is going to be served with papers. And then Karen said, oh, yes, we know that. She knows that the paper, she will be served with, with papers. That's a correct procedure. So it's fine. And they don't want to entertain Pedro because the reason Pedro was there was to hurt Chantel more, to tell, okay, now be happy. I want you to be happy. I want to, you to be free. I want you to be comfortable. I'm going to save you with divorce papers. That is brutal. I think at this point, Chantel knows that the divorce is pending, so there is no point of coming and telling her that, oh, you'll be saved tomorrow. And Karen is telling Pedro then, if you want to talk to uh, Chantel, just call her. And unfortunately, he can't because he blocked the this thing, the, the, the phone of Chantel, because now he claims that he doesn't have money to um, for the phone to be used. So the plan that was used by both of them then was blocked. So he is very evil. So he left the house without seeing um, Chantel, and I think he went back to his place. So in the last scene, then we see the father, Thomas, joining the family. I think they are all there just to make sure that they support the daughter as much as they can. And also Chantel came down to join them. And she said that she felt the commotion and people talking. And she did realize that Pedro was around, but she didn't want to face any drama with Pedro anymore. So this is a love story that started as promising as ever, but ended up very bad. Thank you for watching. If you are new to watch this channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. I will get you more information with the next episode.